What's the difference between a classic Land Rover Defender and a new Land Rover Defender? Well, let me give you a little bit of history real quick. The classic Land Rover Defender, the last one built was in 2016, where it was built in England and Sohill. The new Land Rover Defender is built by Tata Motors, but it's built in Slovakia. So it's not British built any longer. That's the first difference. But to really put it in perspective, the difference between a Defender like this and the new Defender would be the same thing as asking, what's the difference between a classic Mustang that Steve McQueen drove in Bullet in 1968 or a new Mustang now? Or what's the difference between James Dean driving a Porsche 356 or back in whatever year that was, I believe 1966 versus a Porsche today? So the difference is classic car, hand built. That's what this is. New Land Rover Defender is built on an assembly line. Both provide pros and cons. The classic one will continue to go up in value and it's an investment. The new one is a mass produced car that after you buy it will depreciate in value and go down. The classic Land Rover Defender doesn't have all the creature comforts or all the technology which makes it really fun to drive. The new one has cruise control, ABS brakes, adjustable steering, and all kinds of those treats that have spoiled us. So investment value, classic. Depreciating vehicle, that's just another vehicle. Well, that's the new Defender. So there's not a right or a wrong, but you can't compare the two. So again, classic or new, which one would you prefer?